What if the moon turned into cheese overnight? Introduction, a cheesy conundrum. Imagine waking up one morning, looking up at the night sky and seeing the moon glowing with a peculiar yellowish hue, like a giant wheel of Gouda. Overnight, through some cosmic culinary catastrophe, the moon has transformed into cheese. Not just any cheese, let's say it's a nice aged cheddar, because why not? This is the kind of absurd, delightful question that demands a serious scientific breakdown with a generous helping of humor. So, what would happen if the moon turned into cheese? Let's dive into the physics, chemistry, and downright silliness of this scenario, exploring the consequences for Earth, space, and snack enthusiasts everywhere. Step 1. What's the moon made of now? The moon, as we know it, is a rocky body with a mass of about 7.34 times 1022 kilograms, a diameter of 3,474 kilometers, and a composition of silicate rocks, including basalt and anorthosite, with a thin dusting of regolith. If it turns into cheddar overnight, we need to figure out what this new cheesy moon looks like. Cheddar has a density of about 1,100 kilograms per meter cubed, compared to the moon's average density of 3,340 kilograms per meter cubed. The moon's volume is roughly 2.2 times 10 10 kilometers cubed. So, if it retains its size but becomes cheese, its mass drops dramatically to about 2.42 times 10 19 kilograms, about 0.03% of its original mass. This is a problem. The moon's gravity, which depends on its mass, would plummet. Its surface gravity, normally one-sixth of Earth's, would drop to a minuscule 0.005 meters per second. You could jump off the moon with a sneeze. More importantly, the moon's gravitational influence on Earth would weaken significantly, affecting tides and potentially destabilizing its orbit. But before we get to that, let's consider the cheese itself. Cheddar is about 37% water, 33% fat, 25% protein, and 5% salt and other stuff. It's not exactly designed to hold up in the vacuum of space. Step 2. The Moon's New Cheesy Physics The Moon's transformation into cheese would have immediate physical consequences. In the vacuum of space, with no atmosphere to protect it, our cheddar moon would start to behave strangely. The water content in the cheese, about 37%, would begin to sublimate, turning directly from solid to gas due to the low pressure and extreme temperatures, ranging from minus 173 degrees C in shadow to 127 degrees C in sunlight. This would create a faint, cheesy fog around the moon, a sort of cosmic fondue aura. Over time, this sublimation would erode the moon's surface, sending cheese particles drifting into space. The moon's structural integrity is another issue. Rock is rigid, cheese is not. A cheddar moon would struggle to hold its spherical shape under its own gravity, weak as it is. Imagine a giant, wobbly cheese ball, slowly deforming under tidal forces from Earth. If the moon got too close to Earth's Roche limit, about 18,000 kilometers for a rigid body, but much closer for a squishy cheese ball, it could start to break apart, forming a ring of cheese crumbs around Earth. Picture a Saturn-like ring system, but instead of ice, it's bits of cheddar. Astronomers would be thrilled and mice would be very confused. The moon's albedo, reflectivity, would also change. The rocky moon reflects about 12% of sunlight, but cheddar is yellower and less reflective, with an albedo closer to 5 to 8%. The moon would appear dimmer and more orange in the night sky, like a cosmic nacho. This would make romantic moonlight strolls slightly less magical, unless your date is really into cheese. Step 3. Effects on Earth's tides and orbit. 
The moon's reduced mass would wreak havoc on Earth's tides. The moon's gravitational pull is responsible for about two-thirds of our tides. The sun handles the rest. With the moon's mass reduced to 0.03% of its original value, tidal forces would drop to near zero. Coastal ecosystems would be thrown into chaos. Mangroves, coral reefs, and intertidal zones would struggle to adapt. Fishermen would notice flatter tides, and surfers would be very disappointed. The moon's orbit itself would also be affected. With less mass, the moon would be less tightly bound to Earth's gravity. Its orbital speed, about one kilometer per second, might not be enough to keep it in a stable orbit, and it could start to drift away, or worse, wobble unpredictably. Over centuries, this could lead to the moon either escaping Earth's orbit entirely or crashing into us. A cheese moon crashing into Earth would be catastrophic, not least because it would smell terrible. Imagine a 3,474 kilometer wide cheese ball hitting the planet, creating a global fondue flood. Cleanup would be a nightmare. Step 4. The Cheesy Atmosphere and Space Weather As the cheese sublimates, it would release water vapor, volatile organic compounds like fatty acids, and salt particles into space. This would create a temporary atmosphere around the moon, which could interact with solar wind charged particles streaming from the sun. The result? A faint, cheesy aurora visible from Earth, glowing faintly with the scent of dairy. Spacecraft passing near the moon, like those in lunar orbit, would get coated in a fine layer of cheese dust, which would be both hilarious and annoying for NASA engineers. The solar wind would also strip away the cheese particles over time, sending them into interplanetary space. Some might even reach Earth, creating a new kind of meteor shower, cheese meteors. These would burn up in the atmosphere, producing a faint smell of burnt cheddar during meteor showers. Stargazers would need to bring crackers to fully appreciate the experience. Step 5. Could we eat the moon? Let's address the elephant in the room. Could we eat the moon if it's made of cheese? A cheddar moon would have a mass of 2.42 times 10 to the 19 kilograms, or about 2.42 quintillion kilograms of cheese. The average person eats about 0.5 kilograms of cheese per year. In the U.S., it's closer to 18 kilograms per cheese enthusiast. If every human on Earth, 8 billion people, ate cheese at an aggressive rate of 18 kilograms per year, it would take about 1.68 times 10 to the 10 years, 16.8 billion years, to consume the moon. That's longer than the age of the universe, 13.8 billion years, so we'd need to recruit some very hungry aliens to help. Transporting the cheese to Earth would be another challenge. A single SpaceX Starship can carry about 150 tons, 1.5 times 10 to the 5 kilograms. To bring back all the cheese, you'd need 1.61 times 10 to the 14 launches. At one launch per day, that's 441 trillion years. Plus, the cheese would spoil in transit, unless you like your cheddar really aged. And let's not forget the health implications. Consuming that much cheese would clog every artery on Earth. The global healthcare system would collapse under the weight of cholesterol related emergencies. Step 6 Cultural and Social Impacts A cheesy moon would transform human culture. Poets would write odes to the Gouda globe, and conspiracy theorists would claim it's proof of a secret dairy cabal controlling the universe. Astronomers would be furious as their telescopes would struggle to see past the cheesy haze. The dairy industry would go wild, branding everything as lunar cheese and charging exorbitant prices. Meanwhile, vegans would protest the cosmic injustice of a non-plant-based moon. Religions might adapt too. The moon has cultural significance in many traditions. Would it now be worshipped as a divine wheel of cheese? Festivals like Lunar Fondue Night could become global holidays with people gathering to dip bread into vats of melted cheese under the dim orange glow of the moon. Step 7. The Long-Term Fate of the Cheese Moon Over time, the cheese moon would disintegrate. Sublimation, solar wind, and micrometeorite impacts would erode it into a cloud of cheese particles. 
Some might form a ring around Earth, as mentioned earlier, while others would drift into the solar system. In a few million years, the Moon might be reduced to a faint, cheesy nebula. Future alien archaeologists visiting our solar system would be baffled, wondering why there's a trail of dairy molecules stretching from Earth to Jupiter. If the Moon's orbit destabilizes and it crashes into Earth, the impact would be apocalyptic. The energy released would be equivalent to billions of nuclear bombs, melting the crust and turning Earth into a post-apocalyptic cheese fondue. Survivors would be left to rebuild civilization while fending off giant, mutated mice. Conclusion A delicious disaster. So, what if the Moon turned into cheese overnight? It would be a scientific disaster wrapped in a deliciously absurd package. The Moon's reduced mass would disrupt tides and its orbit, potentially leading to its escape or a catastrophic collision with Earth. The cheese itself would sublimate, creating a cosmic cheese fog and meteor showers that smell suspiciously like burnt cheddar. Eating the Moon would be logistically impossible, and the cultural fallout would be equal parts hilarious and chaotic. We've taken a ridiculous question and followed it to its logical, catastrophic conclusion. The lesson? Be careful what you wish for when you look up at the moon. It's better off as a rocky orb than a giant wheel of cheddar. But if it does turn into cheese, I'd recommend stocking up on crackers and maybe a spaceship to escape the inevitable fondue apocalypse.